paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Whatever walk of life, from bug to bear, we are all under threat. Every second, somewhere, something goes wrong for an animal. There's a fight or an attack. What decides our fate? Is it predetermined who lives or dies? Or do we take our chances, living our lives constantly, seconds from disaster? Plumes of smoke, a volcano, warning of impending disaster. A new day is dawning over the African plains. It's the start of something big. The animals seem to anticipate a change in the air. The wildebeest have arrived. Millions of them swarm onto the plains every summer. They are here to give birth. Within the space of a few weeks, hundreds of thousands of babies are delivered. A happy event or a reminder of the challenges of life? Many of these young animals won't live long. Is it a question of fate that determines who lives and who dies? Are the successes and failures of these babies predetermined? Already, some of the youngsters are seconds from disaster. This mother's made a good decision and delivers her calf right into the center of the herd. Could it be that he and his mother are destined for a long and happy life? Or will he have to face the many dangers of the plains alone? Alert members of the capybara family watch over the herd. These giant rodents enjoy nothing more than basking on the banks of the Amazon River. But the dense vegetation and murky waters harbor many threats. Several males watch over the females and young. The babies in the herd form a creche hanging out together to play. Though they were able to eat grass from just a week old, they will suckle for four months. The mothers in the group 
will suckle other pups, not just their own. It seems like a blissful life, but in the Amazon, there are many predators, and the plump-bodied capybaras are a favorite prey. The pine-sized pups ought to spend more time looking out for danger and less time annoying the adults. It's this type of distraction that can spell disaster. Thanks to the 500,000 newborns, the Serengeti herd has swollen to around 2 million. They are doing well, but there are a lot of mouths to feed. The plains can only produce a limited amount of grass. And so more than predators, accidents or natural disasters, the biggest threat to the wildebeest's lives is running out of food. 75% of all deaths are caused by starvation. For that reason, the herd must keep on the move, making sure they don't stay too long and overgraze any one place. The masses of megafauna attract an abundance of predators. Cheetahs are famous for their speed, but to achieve that title, they've had to sacrifice bulk. Lightweight and lanky, a single cheetah would really struggle to tackle a wildebeest. But male cheetahs, usually brothers from the same litter, form coalitions. Now with combined might, they confidently approach any prey. Patrolling the herd, they look for any signs of weakness. The female puts up a good fight, but she can't fend off all three attackers. Disaster could be around the corner for any member of the herd, but today, this unlucky one will feed the cheetahs, meaning the rest of the herd will live to see another day. From equator to poles, babies are facing the challenges of life. Polar bears rule the Arctic, 
the unchallenged top predators. But even with one of the most formidable mothers on Earth, the future of these cubs is far from assured. There could be disaster around every corner. The mother polar bear keeps her cubs close to her side. She knows how deadly the world can be. But the little ones are carefree. They don't seem to be aware of the risks. But disasters can occur anywhere, even right under their mother's nose. We all imagine predation to be the main threat to life, but more animals die from accidents than anything else. Worried sisters try to get the little female out, but the hole's too deep and slippery. At first, Mother doesn't seem to notice how close her family is to disaster. But the big sister rushes for help. Eventually, mum gets the message. An expert in excavating snow caves, it doesn't take long for her powerful limbs to dig their way in and reunite the family. Disasters can turn up at the most unexpected of times. A lion couple, in a romantic mood, decide to take some time out to get intimate. But on the dangerous plains, it's risky to drop your guard. Their lovemaking has attracted an audience. Lions are a deadly threat to buffalo, but when they are caught off guard, it's the giant cattle that have the upper hand. The lion tries to stand his ground, but then realizes he's losing his mate. The buffalo would like nothing more than to rid their home of a pair of pesky lions.
and with over half a ton of angry horn-tipped herbivore on their tail, the lions wisely retreat. Foreboding skies create an atmosphere for the creatures of the Amazon. The capybara family is enjoying some time out of the water. Their favorite food is grass, and when the temperature isn't too hot, they leave the riverbank to graze. A caracara offers a pest control service, picking off fleas and ticks. But it doesn't work for free. It seems to take a drop of blood as payment for services rendered. The predatory bird is no threat to the family, but it's not the only hunter on the prowl. The jaguar, the biggest cat on the continent, and for its size, the strongest and most muscular of all cats. Its favorite food, capybara. Many birds hop around the capybara. They could make life difficult for the predator, offering an early warning system. But with the herd spread out to graze, there are fewer pairs of eyes watching over the crash. Capybara's main line of defense is to dive for cover. But the jaguar can also swim. Even the crash, the babysitters or the watchful birds weren't enough. It's a fact of life that for all creatures, sooner or later, disaster will strike. Whether or not they survive is partly luck and partly good decisions. The mountains of East Africa stop the passage of clouds. Moisture can't get to the plains. As the landscape dries, the animals are feeling the pinch. They need to take action, keeping the herd on the move, going from waterhole to waterhole. But this one, like so many others, is drying up. Mud can be an unexpected enemy. Like quicksand, it sucks their bodies down. 
The smallest calves barely have the strength to pull themselves free. Fighting the mud may result in damaged limbs. But an animal that stays trapped risks starvation. And either way, it's a beacon to predators. Luckily, the lion pride has recently eaten and needs to rest up in the shade and digest. A moment's reprieve. Perhaps fate is smiling on our calf today. He manages to wriggle free. But now he faces a far greater threat. He's lost his mother. He tries to find comfort. He now faces a terrifying prospect. He can't survive without his mother's milk. Luckily, his mother is also looking for him. Their bond is strong and neither will give up. Exhausted and thirsty, she finds him just in the nick of time. Disaster averted, they rejoin the herd. He's been lucky once, but for this little one, his challenges are just beginning. He needs to regain his strength, ready for the biggest and most dangerous journey of his young life. He'll need to keep up for over 1,000 kilometers. The Great Migration has begun. Another trek is getting underway. The polar bear family is on the move. The great bears spend their entire lives walking in an endless quest for food. And to do that, they can find themselves walking on thin ice. Sea ice that covers the Arctic during winter. It can be 20 meters deep. Despite the cold, the waters beneath are teeming with life, drawing in other polar specialists to breed. Ringed seals use their claws and teeth to carve out snow caves that they can use as a nursery. For their first few weeks, the pups will need to lie low. Their luxurious white fur keeps them warm, but only works when it's dry. So the pup must stay alone, while its mother uses holes in the ice to dive for fish. Though the seals are active hunters of fish, in this desolate landscape, there are many larger predators that would gladly have a seal supper. For now, the mother enjoys a brief respite from the cold seas, affording the pup a chance to feed.
Seconds from disaster, the adult seal uses a breathing hole in the ice to disappear, leaving the helpless pup. The pups are designed to stay dry above water, thanks to their woolly coats. But this brave pup's not afraid to take the plunge. His bravery saved his life. He's a bit cold, but alive. It's an eat or be eaten world. Harmless animals do their best to lie low. Dickops are camouflaged, hoping to sit on their nest undetected. But there is one egg thief they can't fool. A hungry monitor lizard. It looks like a tragedy is imminent. But these feisty birds are not going to sit back and take it. They mob the monitor. Imposing wings and sharp beaks drive the message home. Another disaster averted. It doesn't matter how big or small you are. Every day you step out in search of food, you are putting yourself at risk. A scorpion, a top predator on the prowl. It hunts insects and other tiny prey. But like all animals, it too can be seconds from disaster. The bigger bug is a predatory praying mantis. In the jungle, a beetle seems set to meet another disaster. Praying mantis live all over the warmer parts of the world and are deadly hunters. Independently moving eyes and a swivel neck allow great precision. Spiny arms are drawn back, ready to strike. Instead of moving and blowing her cover, she freezes, letting her prey come to her. But she didn't spot another predator using the same camo technique to creep up on her. The master of disguise, the chameleon.
Some creatures go to great lengths to try and avoid the dangers of the world. Various species of weaver bird construct elaborate nests, woven baskets to keep their precious youngsters safe. Their eggs and chicks will grow up in the baskets, out of the reach of most predators. But eventually the day will come when they have to fly the nest. A stealthy killer lurks in the reeds. This is a shoebill, an anomaly that looks like a giant bizarre stork, but is probably closer related to pelicans. Towering over a meter tall, its huge sharp beak, more than 20 centimeters of power, is designed to behead large fish and other animal prey. Its beady eyes have spotted movement. With patient stealth, it moves in. The weaver chicks are getting too big for the nest, but they are not quite ready to fly. A deadly moment to get their timings wrong. Disaster, waterlogged and helpless, the chicks are sitting duck. The other chicks bide their time but so does the shoe bill. Out on the plains, hot, dry days cause storms to build. But to a dry grassland, lightning can spell disaster. It only takes a spark. The results spread like wildfire. Bushfires appear devastating but they are a vital part of many ecosystems. They recycle nutrients by fertilizing the soil with ash. But regardless of their benefits to the landscape, they can spell disaster for the animals of the plains. Creatures that have size and speed on their side can outrun the flames. It's harder for the little guys. The wildebeest herd watches as their home goes up in flames.
Marabou storks and other opportunists pace like undertakers along the edges of the blaze, waiting to snatch any small creatures flushed out by the fire or to pick over the carcasses of the dead. At ground level, it's carnage. Once flames have swept across the plains, there is little for grazers like the wildebeest to eat. Once again, the herd must move on. The sun sets, but the wildlife remains illuminated by the destruction. There are still some that benefit from the death of others. A nocturnal bush baby emerges to snatch a barbecued cricket. By dawn, the fire's burnt itself out. Animals pick over the charred remains amid a fog of ash. Set adrift once more, the herds march on, our growing calf still flanking his mother. Once they get clear of the scorched earth, dry grasses give the wildebeest a much needed meal. But as they feed up and rest, new tribulations await. They have been herded together by the flames something that doesn't go unnoticed by the local lions. One of these animals could be facing imminent disaster. The lioness creeps closer, keeping low, her sandy body hidden in the grass. Patience will be the key to her success. She needs to take her time, pick a victim wisely and carefully choose the right moment to strike.
She's a coiled spring, ready to pounce. She misjudged the power of her prey. A kick from the hard, sharp hooves of a zebra can be fatal. This time, she was lucky. She might have lost her looks, but she'll survive. It was a close call. Her cubs came close to losing their mother. A reminder that it's not always predators who have the upper hand. The herbivores win one round, but a greater threat lies ahead. Drying plains are hard on the herds, but the summer's tough for these guys too. The river's drying up, and crocodiles are forced together, hungry, grouchy, fighting over every scrap and waiting impatiently for food to come. It's not a good place for a catfish to hang out, They know that a banquet will soon be served. They just have to sit tight and let it come to them. And it will come. To keep the vast herds fed, they must follow the rains across the plains to fresh grazing. No obstacles can stand in their way. The wildebeest know crocodiles hide in the rivers, but they have no choice. If they stay on the dry plains, they face death by starvation. They are hesitant, but failure is not an option. It just takes one to make the first move. The building pressure from animals at the back pushes the front line to take the plunge. Rocks move in. Success is not guaranteed, but there will be plenty more opportunities.
With muscular tails, the crocodiles can launch with force and slam shut their gin trap jaws. It seems nothing can distract the wildebeest from their mission. The more animals in the water, the better each individual's chances of avoiding an attack. Of course, not all of them will make it. For everyone caught, hundreds make it across. It's their destiny to survive, and for those that don't, their bodies will ensure the crocodiles a healthy future too. Nothing in life is guaranteed. For any of these animals, disaster could be just around the corner. Luckily, many have made it through to another day.